My name is Abby and welcome to the Christmas special edition of Kerbal Space Program. Before I will launch Center 5, the next rocket, I like to show you something. On the one hand, the tracking station, we have only orbits visible in map. The upgrade would give us patched conics visible in map. So uh, right now we just have our orbit, we don't see any encounter, we don't see our ascending or descending node, we are not able to set something as a target, so we are basically flying blind. And then the VAB makes part supported 30, so um, yeah, the next or the upgrade would give us 255. But I can only have uh, 30 parts, so this is really creating uh, some problems. And well, the research and development, research science limit 100. So the maximum amount of science I could have is 100. This is also problematic. Um, I just want to see, uh, test, 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 only test missions, this is bad. Okay, this means nothing else than that we here, yeah, I'm basically flying blind, and now it's time to prepare Center 5, and let's launch this thing. And here, yeah, although I'm not able to see really anything important on my trajectory, and I'm not really able to set something as a target, I now like to fly out to the moon, because I do have the contract, explore the moon, and I could finish achieve orbit around the moon, and achieve our Transmit or recover scientific data from space around moon. Land on the moon is a little bit complicated with only 30 parts, but uh, the rest should be doable. And well, as a reminder, I'm a scientist, so uh, no SAS module, no pilots. I just need to, to fly well. I just have to look at the NF ball and hope for the very best. And okay, now we can perform our launch in 3, 2, 1. And uh, engines are running. We have to wait that we are burning a little bit of fuel because we at the we are at the maximum capacity of our launch. And okay, now it's a really a hard fight because 30 parts means I was not able to install any fins, and 30 parts means also that well not the 30 parts but. Uh, the few science we have done so far wasn't enough that I was able to unlock these gimbling rockets. And so yeah, it's pretty hard to control these the spacecraft or the rocket during the first phase of the ascent. And now I have to make sure that I keep the, the prograde vector quite centered in the nav ball. And if it starts to drift away, then it should start to drift towards the 90 degree angle. Oh, 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 I'm quite fast. I need to throttle down. I need to throttle down. Uh, it's really hard to to pay attention to the throttle, to the velocity, to your orientation, to your attitude. And now I also need to focus on the altitude, that the altitude is okay. Uh, we are getting closer to the 10 kilometer mark, so 200 meters per second. Very good, very good. And uh, then the thing always tries to start to roll. This is not very easy. Now I like to perform the gravity turn and bring it over to the 45 degree mark. Okay, okay, and we are starting to roll once again. Okay, 45 degrees and rolling. Okay, now I need to bring it a little bit more over towards north, just a little bit, so that I don't end up in an... Okay, we have booster explosion and we have stage separation okay now we are continuing to ascend and here yeah, from this point on it's basically a typical rocket launch except for the part that I have to fight all the time against the rotation and yeah in this case time for some time lapse and I will bring you back in once we are approaching the apoapsis and the orbit insertion Thank you. 
Okay, we are now close to the apoapsis and now it's time for our orbit insertion and you might have seen I did a short scientific experiment during the SN phase because I have installed or added a thermometer to my to my spacecraft and I just did a temperature reading for the upper atmosphere and well now I have to focus and cut the engine uh, 87 by 77 okay very good okay so I oh, we are 15 units, 16 units of fuel left. Okay, very good. So yeah, I did a quick temperature reading and now I like to have orbital sunrise before I continue with all these things. Okay, orbital sunrise. Very good. And now we have to retrieve the data and this is good because now we are able to perform an EVA. Indeed, we are finally able to perform an EVA. And okay, the first thing is EVA report just above Kerbin's shores. Well done, well done, okay. We are just above, I think we are more or less above Kerbin's borders. Can I grab and come on, no, 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 don't, don't drift away. Ooh. Okay, I, ooh, 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 this is, okay, okay, no, 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 get down, get down, get a bit over. Okay, careful, careful, grab. Very good, now I can store experiment. And are we over water or over cur above Kerbin's waters? Amazing, okay. We are over the waters, I can store this experiment as well. Okay, now I like to let go once again because I like to... Careful, careful. Take the data, the temperature scan from Kerbin's upper atmosphere. Very good, very good. Now I like to grab and board. Very nice, very nice. Now I can perform the next temperature reading, this time for log temperature. Why in space near Kerbin? Eight additional signs. Very good. Okay, now before I will recover this or retrieve this data, I like to get a little bit closer to a different biome. This maybe might be Kerbin's grasslands or so. Okay, time for the next EVA. Switch on the lights. Let go, switch on your jetpack and we are Kerbin's Highlands. Okay, this is cool. We are currently above Kerbin's Highlands. Now I can retrieve the data. Okay, from space near Kerbin, very nice. Then I can grab and I can store these experiments. Okay, am I still above Kerbin's Highlands? EVA report, Kerbin's Highlands. Okay, I have done this. Uh, so I will now board. And here yeah, I was talking about flying to the moon. Um, we do have a slight inclination. It's really hard to see, but we do have currently a slight inclination towards the moon. But uh, where? Um, it's really hard to see. Uh, it's a very, a very slight inclination. And here, yeah, as you can see, I can't set up a uh, set a target or so. And well, how do I perform the burn? Well, this is pretty easy because. Um, when the moon is just rising, then you are in the right angle between moon and Kerbin, and then you can just perform a prograde burn and you should end up with an encounter with the moon. Unfortunately, we won't be able to see this because, as I said, we are not able to see still over Kerbin's highlands. Okay, I like to have Kerbin's grasslands also. So we are not able really to to see if we are having an encounter or not. We just can perform our burn and hope for the very best. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, are we now? EVA report, Kerbin's Highlands, okay. Apparently, we are just flying over the highlands. I hope for the grasslands, but maybe not. Okay, now I have grip and board. Get back into my capsule. I can, maybe this looks a little bit like Kerbin's Highlands, uh, not Highlands, Grasslands, Grasslands. I always want to have the Grassland biome. Next EVA. Ok, 
Okay, and... Kerbin's Grasslands. Well done, well done. So, we have now already six stored data inside our capsule. Not bad. And... It will take just a little bit, and then we will have the Moonrise. So, I should turn my spacecraft around. So that I am able to perform a prograde burn. Okay, very good. Now I think I can do a quick time warp, a very slow time warp, because I don't want to overshoot the moment when we do have the moonrise. It should happen very, very soon. Okay, so this and that's. Now, i just like to perform a very gentle burn, uh, time warp, and... And... There's the moon. The moon is rising. Okay. Now I need to perform a prorate burn. And we are out of fuel. We can perform a separation. And now it gets really problematic, because now my spacecraft is really light. And it's very easy to lose control. And I need now to switch over to the orbital map because I have not only to keep an eye on the nav ball, I have also to watch my trajectory rise. And as soon as I'm getting closer to the to the orbit of the moon, I have to throttle down a bit and cut the engine or the throttle once I'm. I'm at the orbit of the moon, so then I hope that I will have an encounter with the moon when I'm flying out there. And as you can see, it's very, very hard to keep the spacecraft pointing uh, toward their maneuver node. Sure, I could just use a pilot and have this as an additional SAS module, basically, but I don't think this would be so interesting. And also, it's a little bit challenging to do it this way, okay. And additionally, as uh, the last reason, uh, because I'm a scientist, I will bring back or I will give an additional science bonus, which is also pretty cool. Okay, now I'm flying out to the moon. Okay, this should hopefully end up with an encounter with the moon. We will see, we will see. Um, is there something else? A different biome? Well, let me just see. It's the A report. Carbon's water. Okay, we have already done this. So the next interesting thing is uh, an EVA high above carbon. I think this could be really interesting. Okay, we are now drifting away. Drifting away in the hope that we can have an encounter with the moon. Okay, we are now 1,000 kilometers away from Kerbin. I can now perform the next EVA and EVA report in space. Hi, over Kerbin. 12 signs. Very cool. Board. Okay, I don't think that the temperature thing will work out here. Okay, now it's interesting. I have no idea how long it will take to get out there. I assume around three, no, around five hours or so. And then it's also interesting when we are getting closer if we have a change in the sphere of influence. If we are really able to get captured by the moon, I have no idea. I really have no idea if this, uh, if I did the burn at the right position or if I miss, but it's looking good. We are getting closer to the moon. And indeed, indeed, as you can see, the nav ball switched around, the altitude switched around, and we have an encounter with the moon. This is great. Unfortunately, we have a collision course with the moon. So, um, what is the best thing? I think a prograde burn could help us. Okay. This is amazing. This is definitely amazing. Okay, a uh, progress burn. This means I need to aim basically towards the moon. I hope this will now. And yeah, you can see the trajectory is changing. <laughs> Good that I'm at least able to see the trajectory, because otherwise it would have 
Okay, this is now not really the result. Okay, I need to use one of these blue markers. I'm not quite sure. Is this the right marker or is this the wrong marker? That's the right marker. Okay, very good. I'm burning, I am burning in the right direction. I'm performing a quick change. And soon there should be a periapsis. And, come on, come on, periapsis. Increasing and 13 kilometers is good enough. Okay, we are now on, uh, in the sphere of influence of the moon. We have some electric charge left, very good. Now I can, no, temperature is a little bit too early, but I can perform observe mystery goo. Okay, the goo seems to be less dense here. 20 signs. Break you. Keep the data. I'm not quite sure if this thing will survive the landing on Kerbin, so I will now perform an EVA and start to fly away. Wow, this is cool. This is great. We have a beautiful view back to Kerbin, and down there is our spacecraft. Okay. This is cool. The spacecraft is rotating around and we have a great view down there. Okay, so I like to perform EVA report while in high space over the moon. Indeed, 16 signs. Oh, I think that we are, we might get into trouble of uh, having too much signs because the limit is, uh, the limit was 100 signs. Okay, I like to collect data and remove data. I'm just doing this uh, to be sure in case that uh, when we are returning back to Kerbin and we are have a splashdown or so that these parts aren't getting destroyed and that we are losing the signs. Okay, now it's time to get closer to the moon. Okay, getting closer. And soon we will have orbital sunset, and we have sunset now. Okay, um, I now like to perform. Well, I could continue the burn, uh, the time warp a little bit from this point of view. Okay, now I'm getting close to the periapsis. I like now to perform the the retrograde burn. But I like to do it very close to the periapsis and, well, maybe I should try to change a bit the inclination I think I need. What do I need to do? I need to perform a burn this way around. No, 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 the other way around. I need to perform the burn the other way around. Okay, I hope I'm not wasting too much electric, uh, electric charge. Okay, now I'm performing a quick burn in order to change just a little bit the inclination. Okay, this is good. This is working good. Um, I will end this here. Okay, now I like to get closer to the periapsis because uh, if I do have a too strong inclination then I might run into trouble uh, when I like to return back home to Kerbin and I might miss Kerbin or so and this, and this would be also pretty bad. Okay now I like to get captured and we have an orbit. We do have an orbit around the moon. I still like to have a ooh, am I doing here? I have to pay attention to this. I still like to have a quite high apoapsis. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Maybe around 100 kilometers or so. And... Oh, 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 I'm drifting away. 109. Okay, 109 is good. So, um... Where is where is the best spot to perform a burn? It would be around 
me just see, let me eyeball this, would be around here. Somewhere around there would be a good position to, I guess, no, is it? Or somewhere around here maybe, to, to change uh, the inclination a bit. But okay, now we are Ah, we are on the shadow side. We can now perform the mystery goo. Uh, why in space near the moon? 30 signs. Okay. And observe materials bay. The high radiation environment caused a few of the samples to glow. It looks like it would be fun to paint the rocket with this. 75 signs. Okay. Keep the data. So we do have definitely more. Okay. I can now perform an EVA. I can switch on the lights. Oh, we can even perform a temperature reading. Okay, we have now definitely more signs than we can currently store. This is it's causing a little bit of problem. Collect data, remove data, very good. And have we... Is this the right canister or do I need to use this canister? EVA report, no, no, no. I want to get to the, to the goo canister so that I can retrieve the signs. Okay, collect collect data, no target. Okay, I uh, was drifting away from it. Collect data, remove data, very good. And an EVA report just above the moon's midlands. Okay, 24 signs. Ha, huh, I'm getting into a uh, prob problematic situation because, okay, I need grab and port. Now I can even perform a lock temperature. Temperature scan while near the moon. 24 signs. I have so much signs and I'm not quite sure. Um, how should I bring this back? Okay, right now I like to come to the place where I can hopefully perform the inclination change. Maybe over here. Okay, do I need... I think this is uh, the wrong side, or is it? No, it's the right side. Can perform here a short inclination change. The periapsis is rising, this is good. Okay, like this. And now we are more or less without an inclination. I think we are still off by a few degrees, but this doesn't matter. We have 40 units of electric charge left, this is good. Okay, we are now in an orbit around the moon, I think. No, I think I'm now in high above the moon, right? EVA. Uh, EVA report. High over the moon, right. Okay, return back. I can't transmit anything. I got 15,000 funds. Okay, we are now around the moon. Uh, the return is a completely different question. And then we have uh, too much science, so... I like now to return back to the space center and how much? 510. Wow, um, I'm not able to research science limit. I'm not quite sure. This is. Huh. Okay, um, hmm. This is problematic. This is definitely problematic. Uh, 20 signs. I can't unlock anything. Ah, I see. Cannot research technologies over 100 signs at this level. So it's not that I can have only 100 science points. I can't uh, research these, these technologies. I see. Okay, so I'm not in trouble. I can bring back all the signs without any issues. This is cool, this is cool. Okay, okay, this is great. Good that I have checked this. And here, now we are in an orbit around the moon. Okay, we do have center, what is this? Location. There are some locations, interesting. Uh, well, we have center 5 debris and center 5 is currently orbiting around the moon. And yeah, this is good, this is good. 
then in the next episode I have to come up with a solution how I can return back home to Kerbin. But yeah, this will happen in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this. And I hope you will be joining me in the next episode. Until then, my name is Abby. See you. Thank <laughs> you.